welcome back to another nail video. So I'm gonna start by showing everything I'm, I've got today and then I've got to get rid of this crap that's on my fingers. Don't ask because I won't tell you. <laughs> it was a big fail. Um, anyway, I really, I found this when I was doing my drawers out and this is by solarcolordust.com and it's a fluorescent pigment. Um, I can't get glow in the dark because apparently I asked on when I did a Facebook live and it's like you know, like when people are doing forensics and they're looking for bodily fluids, it's like that black light. So I can't get it to glow like that. But I really, really liked how deep blue it was. So what I've done is, because it being a pigment, I haven't put a lot of blue in there, but I've, I've put like three scoops of clear to like a mini school amount of the powder and that's how it's come out. There is little bits in it because it's a pigment, but I just have to, you know, I'm just gonna have to work with that. So in with that color, I'm going to sort of introduce these other things to it. So this is Iridescent Cooler's Ice. This is from Smiley's Glitter Store. It's just a beautiful, uh, like ice blue color. A, a bag with nothing in it, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what that was doing there. These are from the nail candy shop. These just look at how they change color. They are my my law flakes. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've had these a long, long time. I also found these power shells. I've had these since I've been doing nails, I think, which is about 13 years. I've had this a long, long time. So I'm just gonna like break bits off and put them in. Again, from the nail candy shop, I have got this beautiful gold leaf so pretty and then in with that i think don't know i'm going to because this is silver i'm going to be putting this angel whispers in by again smiley's glitter store for the nails i'm going to try these now i don't think because i have a dog and if i take take him a walk i have to pick poo up and <laughs> i don't particularly want to pick the poo up with my nails that pierce through the bag so with these, I know they are like stilettos, but I think I'm going to cut them down to a ballerina shape just so the things like that come up. I'm, I'm picking the dog poo up, and, you know, it stays in the bag and not all over my fingertips. Okay, so I've just taken them nailed things off. And what I'm going to do, I've got three of these triangle things, and I'm going to just place a bit of each. Well, a lot of this because I'll need it. With this uh, gold leaf, I'm just going to get a few bits out and then just tear some off. These two implements I'm using here are from Divine by Natasha Lee. And again, I'm just going to put these on the back of a nail form. If nobody's ever used this stuff before, you literally, you, you sneeze and it's all gone. It's that delicate. So I'm going to use Nao's Dehydrator because that's the only one I've got and I'm going to try the new Bow Wow Acid Free Primer and see how that one goes because like I do know the difference if one's good or not depending on if I get lifting or the nails fall off you know them sort of things so I'm going to try it and then I will let you know in my next video how this acid free primer held up all right, so I'm gonna do my normal routine and get Nao's Flawless Nail Bed and put that on four out of five of my nails. And then on my ring finger, I'm going to put Nao's Clear just to protect my own nail bed if I want it to change the design or file it off. I'm also going to use Wow Bow Size 14 Nail Brush and see how I get on with that because, yeah, I just, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do nail bed with it, but we shall soon find out. Alright, I'm really annoyed with myself. The first layer that I did of the nail bed was gorgeous. It worked out perfect. Look what a mess I've made now. I mean, I can rectify it with filing, but just look at the mess I've made. How thick is that nail bed? It's not too bad that side, but just look at that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, look at the shape. I mean, come on, Nick. You know, less is more. <laughs> I should have just lived by that, but yeah, didn't. But there we go. Oh, extra filing to do. All right, they're all done now, apart from the mess I made with my thumb. I didn't do too much of a bad job. 
I was really concerned about how I'm going to do a nail bed with the size 14 brush, but I think I did all right. So what I'm going to do now is just file around the smile line area just to perfect that a little bit more. And then I'm going to go on to the dark blue. All right, so because the blue I'm using is so blue, I'm going to put some more liquid in one of these because I don't want the other liquid that I've been using to get stained. I'm not using uh, Bow Wow's, no, how many times? Wow Bow's acrylic liquid because it is medium speed and I really prefer using high speed. Every time I speak, this gold leaf is going everywhere, by the way. You've really got to be careful with this gold leaf. This is how blue this pigment is. It's really gorgeous blue. So I'm going to put that over the whole of all of the nails, the nail tips and the whole of this and then I can add the stuff onto that as I go. Right. Just look how gorgeous that blue is, it's so pretty. So I'm with the corner of the brush this time, I'm just going to push it right the way up and then the same the other side. These nails, by the way, are quite thin, but they're really strong. Oh, wow. See that? Wow. This is so pigmented, it's ridiculous. Yeah, as I was saying, these uh, nails are re really strong, even though they are, you, you can flex them. They're really flexible. But I've been doing stuff with them on like this and they haven't broke, so. You know, a girl has to use the loo every now and again. Right, I'm gonna get on with the rest. Then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after. Blimey, look at that. That is wicked. Oh my goodness. Wow, I think I need another paper towel. Oh my God, they've gone everywhere again. I've just put the paper towel down. Do you know, oh my God, these are a massive pain in my ass right now. So one extra thing I've got is these gold balls that I'm gonna be using. I did get it all over me there. Oh, that, that, that took a while to clean up because it's a pigment, I mean, I've got it on my thumb. It's all over my little finger. Anyway, so I'm gonna get all of these triangles, bless you, and put them here. I'm gonna leave the gold leaf where it is because I'm not, ain't nobody moving that. I'll pan out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I need the clear. I'm just gonna take small quantities of clear and put them where I want them and then I'm going to just place these things here and there trying to leave some of the mind you, you can see it's a very dark color anyway so you'll be able to see the blue underneath it Hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do. So now I'm going to get another clear and then I'm going to put the, no, I need that one, power shell on. put that. It does make the, the nail a little a, a little bit more bulky with the power shell put in but or abalone shell 
look, I'm talking. And the gold leaf's going everywhere. Oh, honestly. It's enough to make a vicar swear. So that's all the bits and pieces I want on that one. So I'm just going to put a bit of the gold leaf on now. And then I think that's all I'm going to put on it. So I'm going to do the rest and then I'm, I will come back and encapsulate. Okay, so obviously I didn't cut them down to ballerina nails, but never mind. <laughs> if I get dog poo on me, I get dog poo on me, such is life. Well, this is what they all look like before I've encapsulated them. Just a whole big mess, but I'm hoping they turn out all right by the time I've finished. So as I said, I am just going to encapsulate in nails clear, and then I'm going to start filing. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so they are all filed. <clears throat> they took a long time to file. So now I'm just going to get some pure stone. This is a trick from Kirsty Meekin. It just sort of melts down a bit of the acrylic and gets rid of all the dust. So I'm going to try this new top coat from Wow Bow, and this is their Diamond Shine No Wipe Top Coat. So I'm going to put a layer of this on my nails on cure for 60 seconds.
All right, guys, well, them are the finished nails. These are very long. I'm not gonna lie, these are huge from what I'm used to wearing. They're usually about there, what I'm used to wearing nowadays, but yeah. So let's see how many things I knock over. Prick, stab, or scratch. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to use something along with that really blue pigment and the gold leaf. I think everything worked out all right. I would love to know what you think of these nails. Everything I've used today will be in the description box, well, as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.